I only have 48 hours to build a dropshipping store, market the product, and get sales without using any of my past winning products or connections. And from building up million dollar dropshipping brands, I learned a lot about the business model. All you do is find a winning product on TikTok, build a Shopify store around the product, make viral videos, and eventually making you thousands of dollars. But last week, my friend asked me, what if you started from scratch? And since I'm already the dropshipping goat, he told me, but you only had 48 hours. I thought it was a good idea, so I took him up on the challenge. But before we get started, there's a few rules for this challenge. First off, I only have $200 to spend on everything. So I can't go and use any more money. I only have this. Next, I can't use any past winning products that I previously sold. I mean, this would give me a pretty unfair advantage, so I just can't do it. And lastly, I can't get help from anyone or use any connections. Over the last few years, I've been able to build up a ton of business connections that I have that would ultimately help me a ton for this challenge, but I'm not going to use any. But now that we're on the same page, it's time Time for me to get a good night's sleep because I'm gonna be up super early to start this challenge. So the first day I woke up super early because I knew I had to find the right product to sell. So I got ready, went down to my office so I had no distractions and so I could find the perfect product that could make us a ton of money. And so many people use paid ad services, but for this challenge, I'm not going to. I wanna use something free since we have a limited budget. So I'm gonna go on TikTok and search up hashtag TikTok maybe buy it to find the perfect product and a product that we could sell and market in a unique angle. And I also want to find a product that can catch my attention when I'm scrolling. And after an hour of looking through products, I found a product that has gone super viral on social media, but nobody has taken this unique marketing angle on the product. So I knew that I could come in, take this unique marketing angle and make tons of money with the product. And this product is a self cup washer where you put the product on the sink and it washes pretty much any cup for you automatically. And this account was going super viral, literally just by cleaning cups but it was getting tens of millions of views for free and this product definitely does solve an everyday problem that people do have and i also like this product because it makes people's life easier people love to pay for convenience and after doing some research you can get this product for ten dollars on aliexpress and our competitor is selling the same exact product for 29 dollars, which honestly i think is the perfect price point to sell it at which means every single time someone purchases my product i'm gonna be making 20 dollars profit per order and in order for me to take over my competitor, all I'm going to do is I'm going to make the website look super branded and I'm going to look like I'm the original creator of this product. And since we found the right product for this challenge, I need to go and quickly make the website. So I'm going to go to Shopify.com, start my free trial, and let's get to work. So after a few hours of working on the logo, the website, and all the custom graphics, it's time for you guys to look inside my cup cleaner. First off, I use the Sense theme because it's a great theme for any one product stores. And if you look at our website you can see that we have great images of the product and we're selling the product for $30 and not to mention the logo is super clean when people look at the logo they already know exactly what the product is meant to do and it looks like we're the original owners of the product as well and as you can see in the product description I say it's your personal cleaning superhero just something where it connects with the consumers emotionally but I also have these amazing custom graphics that you guys have seen me do time and time again again just showing that this product can be used by everyone it doesn't matter if you're a busy adult college student or even old you can still use this product and take note that i also added super nice gifs of the product this is super important to show your product in use if someone's looking at your website and they can't see the product actually in use they probably won't buy from you we also have emojis on here making it look super nice we have more custom graphics and at the end we say enjoy 85 percent off today only you always want to have a call to action on the bottom of your product description and at the end of the product landing page i also added a video showing exactly how to install the product and i added my own cover image to make it look super branded but if people don't know exactly how the product can be installed or how it's used they probably won't buy from you and at the end i have this custom image just showing no more residue on your glasses and also mentioning aren't you tired of it and just really hitting the emotions of everyone looking at this product and also take note that i only have three main colors for this store i only have blue white and black if you try to add too many colors to your store it's not going to look branded and you're not going to look like the original owner of the product and especially with one product stores your main goal is to make sure that you look like the original owner so not only having the custom images but also having the custom graphics gifs and amazing branding throughout your website so take that extra time 
time to make your website look really, really good. And obviously at the end, we have all of our privacy settings. It's super important to have on your website. And now that our business is born, it's time to start marketing the product to see if we can get any sales and see if we can turn just this idea into a profitable business. And I don't have any time to waste, so let's get right into it. So if I was a complete beginner, I would start off by doing TikTok organic. I've been able to build seven figure brands without putting any money in ads, strictly using TikTok and Instagram. And I started off by simply ordering the product off Amazon to make viral videos on these platforms. But the thing is, it typically takes at least a few days to get the product from Amazon to ship to your house. And since I only have 48 hours for this challenge, I knew I had to find something else. But luckily, TikTok allows you to spend money on their platform. And in return, they're going to show that video to your specific audience or whoever you want to target. And since we have a $20 profit margin for the product, I know this is a product that could do super well with paid ads. So when starting TikTok ads, your goal is just to test the creatives that you have. So it's important to have multiple creatives when you start testing the product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab three viral videos from my competitor's page, and I'm going to put different text on it, different music and change it up a little bit. And the reason why this can work is because my competitor didn't even have any text on his videos. It was literally just a video of the product in use. So I know this can do super well. And my competitor wasn't taking any unique marketing angle. So I know that I can come in, take that unique angle and make a ton of money. But my objective is to see what creative can start getting sales. So here's the plan. First off, I'm going to keep the targeting super broad. There's no reason to have a target audience with this product. Next, I'm going to run a CBO campaign of spending $100 per day. And this is going to allow us to use the $200 that we started with for this challenge. And lastly, I'm going to try to get these ads approved pretty soon and hopefully at least get a sale today. So it's about noon time right now. So I'm going to get these ads up and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So the ads just got approved pretty quickly and it's time to see how many sales we can get for today. And we are on a time crunch, but I'm pretty confident in the product website and everything set up. So let's see how we do. So it's almost midnight. I'm pretty tired, but I wanted to give you guys an update on the first day of the store. We ended off the day with four units of our product sold, which brings us out to a total sales of $120 for the first day. So we did spend $100 in ads and to fulfill the orders, we did spend $40 as well. So for the first day, it does bring our total to negative $20 for the day. And honestly, I'm really not disappointed with this. The first day is all about testing what creatives do the best. And the fact that we already got sales means that our website looks good. It means that our product is amazing. And it means that our creatives are catching people's attention. So I'm going to go to sleep, but I'll provide you guys an update for tomorrow. So it's the next day. It's about 3 p.m. And I have some really good news to share to you guys. And it's been about 24 hours since we started the marketing on the store as well. So in sales in the last 24 hours, we got eight units of the product sold, which equals to $239 in sales. And right now we're looking to be break even on the store. So I'm going to see how the sales go throughout the day and I'll update you guys later. Today's been super busy, but I have a great update for you guys for the second day. So it's almost 10 p.m. And so far for the day, we hit $210 in sales. And for today, we haven't even spent the full hundred dollars in ads. So we still have a chance to get even more sales for the night. And so far with fulfillment, we spent about $70 for the day so far. So our total profit for the day, it's already looking over $50 profit. And over the next few hours, if we can get some more sales, our profits are only going to increase for the day. So let's see how the night goes. And I'll update you guys tomorrow for a grand total. So it's the next morning and I have some final results to share with you guys. The challenge officially ended about three hours ago. So I wanted to provide you guys a full update. And overnight, we didn't end up getting any more sales. So for yesterday, we did stop off at $210 in sales. So in total for the 48 hours, we ended off the store with $330 in sales. But the goal was to be profitable with the store. So let's break that down. So out of that $330, we spent $200 in ads, which automatically brings our profit down to $130. And in total for fulfillment, we spent $110 because we sold 11 units of the product. So in the 48 hours, that brings our grand total to $20 profit. Now I'm not jumping and screaming because we made $20, but it does go to show you that you can start making money online with the right steps. And obviously our goal was to build a profitable business in just 48 hours. And I could definitely build this store to be very profitable if I kept running it for months. But hopefully now you have enough resources to go and start your first online business. And if you guys want more videos and challenges like this one, make sure you guys go down, comment, subscribe,
subscribe and I'll see you guys inside the next video.